Over here, we're going to subtract. 252 minus 8. Okay, again, your helping problem is this 52 minus 8, which that one you can solve in different ways. As far as mentally, you could think of 52 minus 2 minus 6. So we get 44. And so this one, of course, is then 244. 774 minus 9. Over here, let's use a different kind of helping problem. Since 9 is so close to 10, then I like to do it this way. 774 minus 10. That's 7 tens, take away 10. 764. And now, I subtracted 10. So I subtracted 1 too much. So the answer to this one is 1 more than this answer. 364 minus 7. Another way would be to subtract in parts. 364 and subtract so that you will subtract down to the previous 10. And then 3 more. So this here is 360. And then 360 minus 3 is 357. 993 minus 6. Let's do the same. First subtract 3, then another 3. So it becomes 990, this one here, minus 3. 990 minus 3, is so 987. I hope you're following me. Now we have something different, Matthew. Look, a pattern. 255 minus 1. Oh, that's easy, 254. Then what? 255 minus 3. Okay, 5 minus 3 would be 2. 252, right? And then minus 5, so we get 250. But now what? How does the pattern continue? 1, 3, 5. Those are your odd numbers, right? We would get 7, and then 2 more, 9, and then 11, 13. And so here, 255 minus 7. But you see over here is a pattern too. And it works the same way, by 2s, 2 less each time. So I can use that, it will be actually quicker to fill in that way. 2 less than 250, 248. And then 246, 244, and 242. All done. 